So far away, Lucas, who are we talking about in this episode of Wiki Whenever the Hell We Upload These Now? We're talking about the king of the goddamn jungle. Donkey Kong. So far away, Lucas, you know the drill by now. Um, tell the audience what we're talking about specifically. Yeah, so we are going to be talking about Donkey Kong himself, and I don't know which DK this is, but it's just Donkey Kong. Yes, so no, we'll no doubt get to that in a moment, but um, as always, you can find a link to the wiki we're referring to below, but without further ado, Donkey Kong. So here we are, Donkey Kong the third. so that's his official name, so we're talking about the third Donkey Kong here. With it. Full name, oh, Donkey Kong the third. aliases Donkey, DK, Star Child, oh my god, um... I didn't realise this, but fuck it, bad names are coming, folks, so uh, pads and pencils at the ready. Star Child, The King of the Jungle, Donkey Kong 3, DK the Third, Big Monkey, The Bodacious Beast, The Prime Primate, The Thriller Gorilla, The King of Swing. And Lucas, before we continue, just those fucking aliases, man. Oh. The Thriller of the Gorilla. Okay, so we have uh, Residences, um, Donkey Kong Island. Look at that, he lives on an island named after himself, what a don. And family, the Kong family, which includes Baby Donkey Kong, which is his past self. So Donkey Kong canonically met his own past self. Diddy Kong, his nephew. Cranky Kong, his grandfather, aka the original Kong, or Wise Kong. Wrinkly Kong, his grandmother deceased. Funky Kong, possible older brother. Swanky Kong, possible older brother. Uncle Kong, possible older brother. Candy Kong, girlfriend. Donkey Kong Jr., his father. Species Kong. (laughs) <laughs> gender male affiliations the kong family because ape together strong lucas we all know this we have <laughs> powers and abilities tremendous strength an unlimited supply of barrels superb jumping swinging and climbing skills capable of using his own brand dk bongos as a weapon producing destructive sound waves through claps like the hulk expert horn player expert boxer proficient kart racer Capable of producing gusts of wind through his fists. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Lucas, would you like to explain why you had that reaction? In Super Smash Brothers for 3DS and Wii U, they introduced yeah. a thing called custom moves, and Donkey Kong had the ability to do a wind punch. And there was just one time we were playing at like two o'clock in the morning. And one of our friends wind punched everybody off the stage to win the match yeah, in one go. He got like five KOs in one punch because we were all still at the edge. And it was just so fat. None of us had a chance. It was. Yeah. Just Donkey Kong came in, just woof. And then five fucking Smash characters flew off instantly. There was nothing anybody could do. It was. <laughs> like, it, it is up there. It's like one of the funniest things I have ever had happen. Because I think we broke down for a good. Five minutes. Yeah. <laughs> like we physically could not move because we were all laughing that hard at just this Donkey Kong flying in. Just, whoa. <laughs> I'm pretty sure as well, before he did it, it was like, oh, I wonder what this wind punch actually does then. <laughs> we had no idea what it was, but that, that, that put me on my fucking ass, did that? Enemies, King K. Rule, a giant rotund crocodile with a, with a hat on. I love it. <laughs> the Kremlin Crew, Monkey Kong, Ghastly King, Eddie the Mean Old Yeti, Bowser, Kamek, Tiki Tong, the Tic Tac Tribe, Lord Frederick, uh, the Snowmad King, um, Snowmads and Chaos in Skylanders. Oh, he's in Skylanders, isn't it? First appearance, Donkey Kong Country for the SNES, and then latest appearance, Mario Kart Tour. And we have here, uh, not a quote from Donkey Kong, which is a fucking gorilla, but a quote about Donkey Kong from the Donkey Kong Country instruction booklet. The King of Swing, the Thriller Gorilla, the Prime Primate, it's Donkey Kong. But this isn't your father's Donkey Kong, although he is a relative of the classic arcade character. Country's Donkey Kong is a totally new character with a new look, new moves, and a new attitude. I miss the 90s. Every character in the 90s had to have attitude, including Donkey Kong, a fucking gorilla who just wants to steal bananas. So Donkey Kong, um, sometimes known as Donkey or DK for short, is the main protagonist of the Donkey Kong series. Laid back, stubborn, yet a trustworthy hero of Donkey Kong Island and the leader of the Kong family. 
He's the leader. That's a fucking leader I respect. When he can just do wind punches to anyone who displeases him. <laughs> He's also a main kart racer in the Mario Kart series since Mario Kart 64, as well as a protagonist of the Donkey Kong Country animated series. Though known as Donkey Kong, he is actually a brand new character explicitly mentioned in the Donkey Kong Country instruction booklet and a descendant of both the original Donkey Kong Sr. and DK Jr., making him part of the third generation of the DK, and I quote, lineage. <laughs> there is the gorilla lineage. That is one of my favourite just little tidbits in video games, that. The Donkey Kong, that most people reckon, like the one from Smash Bros., the one who's in all the kart games, uh, is a descendant of the original Donkey Kong from the arcade games back in the day. The idea that there is just this lineage of giant gorillas who kick the shit out of people is amazing to me. And that's why when I play Smash Bros, in which I main Donkey Kong and I want to get serious, I'll put that skin on that just gives you the, the pearly white um, Donkey Kong, who we, in our friend group, exclusively refer to as Wise Kong. He is the wise, <laughs> he is the leader of all Kongs. He's the Kong who sat on that mountain training. <sighs> and there's a whole bunch of stuff here just explaining his backstory. We don't care about that, do we? Oh my God, it goes on and on and on and on and on and on and on. Rather than talk about that, I want to go with a subsection simply titled Partaking in Sports. <laughs> the idea of a giant gorilla kicking the shit out of people at sports is amazing. So we have here, Donkey Kong has appeared, sometimes along with his nephew Diddy, in all of the Mario sports series, most notably in Mario Kart. His father appeared in Super Mario Kart, so his dad's in Super Mario Kart. So we have here, golf. And this is just accompanied by a frankly phenomenal render of Donkey Kong swinging a fucking nine iron. And it is, that is incredible. Like, I want that on a poster. In NES Open Tournament Golf, a monkey looking exactly like Donkey Kong, except for the fact he was wearing white clothes, appeared. <laughs> it is presumed that the monkey is Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong tells the player how much money he or she has. In later golf games, he would appear as a playable character. Tennis. He is also a playable character in all the golf, tennis, and other sport titles. He is usually portrayed as a slow but powerful character. Imagine playing tennis against the gorilla. That, that reach basketball and again it's accompanied by a render of donkey kong with a basketball which simply says underneath it donkey kong dunking a ball that's what how do you beat a gorilla that can dunk a basketball you can't what do you do well the thing is we play a lot of smash bros and we know he can't only just dunk the ball he can dunk you as well he can dunk a human being with like five different moves yeah and people who watch, uh, cause I think every Monday um, on Twitch, me, Lucas, and a friend of ours, we play Smash Bros. And if anyone watches my version of the stream, uh, you'll see that every time I land a dunk with Donkey Kong, I just go, ooh, <laughs> you've got to do it. When you're playing Donkey Kong, you have to get into the mindset of the gorilla. You have to just get that on the go. You have to, like, every time you dunk. You have to dunk, become one with DK. You have to just, every dunk, it's like, ooh, soccer. Donkey Kong is also a playable character in the Mario Striker series. And again, there is a fucking phenomenal render of Donkey Kong in Mario Strikers. But I contend Mario Strikers has some of the best redesigns of video game characters ever. Every redesign To the point game. where I think the reason we haven't got more is because Nintendo got mad at the company for making them too cool. Because they look so awesome. So I want all the ones that are in that game to be the default versions of the characters going forward. Yeah. Like, the one for Princess Peach is fucking incredible. Like, that should be her default design. So I do wonder how that feels, though, as, like, a designer, when you make a character and someone just does it better than you. It must be like when you're a musician and someone covers a song and just the cover's way better than your version. You're like, oh. <laughs> it's like, uh, what was it now? Nine Inch Nails, Trent Reznor, when they found out that um, Johnny Cash had covered their song. Mm. And, oh, it's Johnny Cash's song now. We, we refuse to play it at, at concerts anymore it's Johnny Cash's song. It's like, Fucking hell. <laughs> Baseball. Oh. And there's, again, another render, and it's Donkey Kong punching the ball. It says here, Donkey Kong hitting the ball with his fist. His special move is the banana ball. He throws a banana. Um, his bio <laughs> states, a gorilla known for his raw power. Donkey Kong lives a carefree jungle life, in unless someone messes with his banana. His ancestor, Cranky Kong, grandfather of the original Donkey Kong, wore no necktie. His talents lead in back beating on primate foes and kart racing. Fear his banana ball. Lucas fear the banana ball of this giant gorilla. I do. Kart race. And again, another fantastic render of Donkey Kong in a kart having the fucking time of his life. It's like, <laughs> yeah, I love it. These are all amazing. These are incredible. Oh, God. And then boxing. This is the one, not a lot of people know about this appearance. This is it. Donkey Kong 
is a secret boss in Punch Out for the Nintendo Wii, and he's earned by beating at least one opponent in Little Mac's last stand mode. He likes to taunt a lot in game and will counter punch if you attack while taunting. That might be the most brutal fucking thing in like a sports game. So like, Little Mac, you've done it. You've beaten Mr. Dream. You've, you've beaten everybody. You're the champion. Fight this 800 pound gorilla. <laughs> and he does it. And he's super tough. Isn't that one of like, the best redesigns where it's just him wearing boxing gloves? For some reason, listed under his sporting pursuits, he's just like partying. <laughs> so I guess he parties so hard that it's actually considered physical um, exertion. Um, he's a playable character in all of the Mario Party games, up to Mario Party 5, where he leaves the G and starts hosting his own space. He's basically the opposite of Bowser. Oh. Since uh, when a character lands on his space, something good happens. Ah, oh, so he's just bringing the good times. Yeah, so he just parties. You, you yeah. like, the thing is, though, if you're invited to a party hosted by a giant gorilla, that's going to be a good time. I enjoy, though, that he goes, right, I've had enough of competing with you guys. I'm going to party on my own and have a good time instead. Yeah. Lucas, he knows Funky Kong. You know he knows that breakdown. <laughs> uh, Super Smash Bros. series. Donkey Kong has been a playable character in all Super Smash Bros. games to date. He is a default character. But again, he's my main. He's my main in Super Smash Bros. Just because he's a fucking gorilla. Yeah. And the nut. Lucas, please, like, for people who don't know, tell them about the nut. Uh, well, DK's side B, i.e. his side special move, is just bringing the headbutt down on every single person. Yeah. And it has the most amount of super armor I've ever seen. Yeah, it can go through any other move in the game, even one-hit kills, because it's a fucking nut from a giant gorilla. And Lucas, you can confirm as someone who's played against me, I play the most aggressive Donkey Kong and I will armour through any move in the game. I will punish a warlock punch with a nut, just to say I did it. Yeah, your DK just sees a giant fist on the way, he's like, bring the nut in. <laughs> I can do it. <laughs> just the idea, though, of, like, Ganondorf, the king of all evil, throwing out his most powerful blow. Like, is it all of his magical energy is infused into his fist, and this giant gorilla comes in like, no, the nut. <laughs> but how about you fucking take this nut load to the... <laughs> and it fucking meteors. Oh, oh, man, he says it, one of his up special. They've got the name wrong. They say it's called Spinning Kong. It's the Doncopter. <laughs> yeah, the Doncopter. I refuse to accept it called anything but the Doncopter. And just for shits and giggles, would you like to hear the codec conversation Snake has about Donkey Kong in Brawl? Yeah. People don't know, in, um, Do in Super Smash Bros. Brawl, you can have a conversation with Otacon about every character in the game. He says it, uh, Snake, Otacon, there's a gorilla wearing a tie here. He's huge. Otacon, that's Donkey Kong. As you can tell, he's got strength to spare. He may be king of the jungle, but he lives in a house just like you or me, and he seems pretty smart. For an ape, anyway. The Donkey Kong who fought that epic battle with Mario was this guy's grandfather. Snake, that was a long time ago. What about this Donkey Kong? Does he get along with Mario? Otacon, no, they're still at it. Seems like they're always competing in something. Kart racing, sports, you name it. Snake, a chip off the old block. <laughs> I like that. And it's a little off topic. Would you recall at all the conversation Snake has about Luigi in that game? Uh, no, I don't. If you face Luigi in that game as Snake and do the button input to get the codec call, Roy Campbell comes in as that shit-talking Luigi and says, oh, look at that pale skin, been living in his brother's shadow for way too long. Snake will defend him, go, whoa, 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 that's Luigi. What are you doing? <laughs> Proving that Snake admires him as a warrior. Luke, would you like to just end on just some trivia about Donkey Kong? Let's go for it. Okay, so trivia. In Donkey Kong Country, um, DK resembles a real-life gorilla where he only shows attitude and acting hostile when he or his family are threatened. Though he can be stubborn when hoarding his endless hoard of bananas. What a dick. He's got an endless amount of bananas and he still gets mad when people take them. They're endless. I mean, to be fair, when the hoard gets taken, every single banana gets taken. That's true. Yeah, they do take every... That's a bit of a dick move in of itself. I want, I, I want some bananas. How much? All of them. No... Donkey Kong, when he was younger, had a tail, but it seems to have disappeared, making it possible that despite his ape appearance, Donkey Kong may be a monkey-type Kong. That's a big monkey. So he's a new species. He's a new species. Oh, speaking of big, in, according to Donkey Kong 64, Donkey Kong weighs 800 pounds, and he's 6 foot 1 inch tall when on his knuckles, and 7 foot 10 when standing fully upright. That's a fucking big boy. An 800 pound near 8 foot tall gorilla. No wonder he can dunk so hard. Miyamoto chose the first name Donkey because it invoked the idea that he sounded stupid, stubborn, and dopey, and the last name Kong because it invoked the idea that he was an ape, even though he's a monkey ape Kong. He's like, he's a new species. Oh god. Donkey Kong's signature hair curl, cowlick, and tuft is not really a curl, but rather a coconut shaped deformity in his skull. 
Which is where you get that like legendary like shit post image of Donkey Kong without hair. Donkey Kong appears in Nintendo Monopoly. He replaces Marvin Gardens and costs two hundred and eighty dollars. Donkey Kong, along with Birdo, was going to appear as a playable character in Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games, but he was scrapped in the final product for unknown reasons. Because he just win on the weightlifting. You say that, but Sonic doesn't automatically win the races against like, Mario. To be fair, he probably just like he's letting himself like he's probably letting himself go a bit. Annie as Sonic, he's not been he's not actually been in a game for a while, so he's not trained. Um, if the player does not control Donkey Kong in Donkey Kong Country Returns for some time, he pulls out a Nintendo DS. In Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze, he pulls out a Nintendo 3DS, whereas in the Switch version, he pulls out a Switch. I wonder if he plays Smash Bros. That's why he's practicing. That's like when Piccolo does it, isn't he? when he meditates and fights against himself. <laughs> yeah. Donkey Kong just practices on his own fucking Switch to learn. Oh, that's so weird. I hate when they put stuff like that in games. Like, what do they play? What games exist on Donkey Kong Switch? Do you think he plays Hades? <laughs> Maybe. I bet he does. That's a good game. We should play Hades. Hades is real good. Play that game. And then play Smash Bros. It's awesome too.